Today's the day we need to take out all the soft furnishings, get ready to take the earth down. So we'll have to go in and uh, see how it is all prepared. Ow! I can't even the door's swollen up. Um, this is the problem with this wood. I don't know how we're going to get in here. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. We just need to kind of get all the mattresses and bits like that out and into the dry in our house. Um, and then we can start taking it all down. Let's go. Sling me a mattress then, please. It's a good thing you enjoy all of this. Yeah, but I'll have a flipping tree on the mattress. Tip it up before we go in. Have we lost the mattress? Huh? Have we lost the mattress somewhere? Where did you lose it? Oh, I think we've lost the mattress. We have to go and try and find the missing mattress. Goodness only knows where it blew off, but it's probably up on the field somewhere. I didn't see it, or but then I can't see it at the back. So, there's the old mattress that Vicky lost. I'll just have to grab that, put it back in, let it dry out, it should be fine. Okay, we've just managed to get all the mattresses stacked up here, ready for the winter. So that is now every mattress we own, I think, isn't it? Yeah. How many is there? 13 mattresses. And you know what the good news is? What? You've got to take it all out in another four months. I know, it's not going to, it's going to go really quick, isn't it? It always does because you've got so much still to do. I know, I'm in November already. I know. So the green yurt is now down and it's time to take the blue yurt down now. Um, all the furniture's out apart from the beds that are going to go in the container. Um, so we just need to get it all down as fast as we can before the kids get back from school. Okay, we're nearly there. So we've got all the canvas and that's all been taken down to the kind of inside. Um, and then now we're just packing up all the trellis, we've taken all the woodwork down um, and so we're going to blitz this bit and we're on track to get the kids, so that's good. Okay, so both yurts are now down. The dome's staying up over the winter. Um, we're going to see how it fares, how the insulation fares. We're not sure whether to take the insulation down or not, but hopefully it will be all right. Um, we've taken off all the kickstands that were all around it and put them into store and then this space needs a new one basically so we're just going to leave this over the winter um, and then take the boards up and then put new boards down so it's just quite expensive 18 mil ply but this has been like this for four years with the yeah it's on and off and tarpaulin and covering it just doesn't work very well so this is going to get left I'm tempted to take up all the boards on the green yet. Don't know what you think. 
good luck in trying to figure out how to put it back together again. Yeah, or I did come up with a plan of possibly like making a tarpaulin type teepee over there so you get a bit of airflow. We tried that um, before. Well, no, because we, we tucked it in before. We made it like a triangle thing so all the rain would run off. It didn't really work. No, but I think we didn't have any air, it just trapped all the. Well, yeah, because it was properly sealed all the way around. Yeah. And it seemed to sweat underneath or something. So, yeah, the last thing left to do is to wrap up this cable because this is the cable that's left from when we've um from that goes into the air so we need to wrap this all up double bag it in black plastic and duct tape and hopefully it will survive the winter but generally i'm very pleased that everything's down and we're nearly packed up just in time to put it all back up again no we've got like four months yeah but there's a hell of a lot that needs to happen in four months yeah and the time goes by so quick it's already november Feels like we just put them up the other day. Unicorns and rainbows, Brian. It'll be fine. Yeah, I know it'll be fine. It just seems like it's up and down and up and down like a yo-yo. Yeah, that's why we do love the dome. Um, well, we hope we love it. We've got to get through this winter first. Yeah, and we've got to put another one up in January. Yeah, I know. So in a few months, there'll be a beautiful dome just about there. So exciting. Thanks for watching our latest video. If you liked it and you like hanging out with us here at Trouts and Cream, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And next, what's coming up next, Brian? We've got. Our... I think it's the wood log store that we've been building. It's like a miniature A frame, and I've been spending all day today splitting logs so that we can fill it in. So we've got loads of logs now for the winter, so that's good, and we've got a place to store them. And at some point, we'll be doing the interior of Brian's A-frame, so that will be exciting if we ever get that finished, although at the moment it's still full of furniture. Um, so yeah, loads of exciting stuff happening here at Tractors and Cream.